Yo, what's up, everybody? Just got out here to Lake Gunnersville. Pumped to be out here. Pumped to get to fish tomorrow. Just got everything in the house. Got groceries. Got pro day done. So now we're relaxing. Ready to go. Ready to go tomorrow. Give you a little rundown. But we got got a little pond out back here. You can barely see Gunnersville off in the in the distance. It's crazy windy today. It's probably gonna be windy the next few days. Sweet little setup. Not all the setups are like this, but uh, this is gonna be home for the next couple of days. This might be bunking it up. Not bad, not bad. Fireplace, not that we'll be getting that, getting to use that much. We'll be on the water most of the time. And uh, got the rig out front. We're ready to go, oiled up, go get some gas in the morning. Start getting on practice. Hope it's gonna be at a good time. Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all tomorrow. Day one of practice, about 5.30. If you're a bad fisherman, you know, uh, you wake up early. Fix and knock out some chili, get it going so I'll be ready when I get home tonight. Jump on the water, get this thing started. through Tuesday to practice um, if you've been keeping up with me on Facebook and really any of the FLW stuff on Facebook you'll know I mean it's been tough out here just you know kind of hard to get a bike type tough right now actually you know normally this is the day that we go through all our tackle and tie everything up refuel uh, which I'm definitely gonna do but right now I am headed to an elementary school we do a uh, community outreach event you know everybody knows I do the um, fishing derbies for the kids on Saturdays if I don't make the cut. Uh, my family comes in and helps out with those. Uh, but on Wednesdays, we go to a local elementary school, high school, and, and talk to the kids, show them the boats, do a lot with talking about how, you know, the STEM, the science, uh, math, and different things that they're learning in school relates to real world. Um, world? Sorry, look, somebody ran off the road right here. Woo-wee! I mean... You talk about a nasty, tough day. Went out, boat 23 this morning. Absolutely terrible. Y'all heard how bad my practice was. I wasn't lying. It was bad. Went out and decided I was going to fish all new stuff that I'd never fished before, which I did. Pull up on first spot, caught two and a half pounder, like third and fourth cast, which I was like, awesome. Went to another spot, caught almost four pounder. Awesome. And then we went around. I caught a few drum hit a stump bit my prop all up uh hey i tell you what though that evan g2 this morning was the very first time i got to open it up and that dang thing is fast um today
Today's I weighed like 513, 514, something like that, just under six pounds. Woohoo, Gunnersville. It's gonna be tomorrow. It, at least we're somewhere I can catch some big ones and move up. Scott Canterbury and I were kind of hopping spots there for a while. He caught three. He uh yeah, he caught three that moved him up or that had like 16 pounds or something crazy. Um so we'll go out tomorrow. I mean it's gonna be tough on everybody. Uh, I feel like I'm doing the right thing, just didn't get the right bites. I caught four fish, two were keepers, two didn't. Um, I'm throwing a big swim bait over grass. I mean, that's kind of a Gunnersville thing. I'm throwing it on a swim jig head that I pour, which I like to do. By the way, there's a, we're actually making that into a thing with Crocker Gator Bait Company. Um, it's gonna be kind of like a little signature series swim jig. That's gonna be cool. So time to get back home and uh, get some something to eat, retie, reline one rod. Um, oh. By the way, and this is just like, I mean, obviously I'm sponsored by Evan Root, but this it really isn't anything to tout them. I just do want to give them kind of a shout out. So I went over uh, yesterday, just the service in general. I mean, I won't go into the specific. Just like went over the service trailer and the people over there. I've been with other companies before. I've never felt more like family than I did with Evan Root. Um, went over there i mean have they've helped me out the last two days take gone above and beyond uh to help me out so big big shout out to evan root uh, big thanks to y'all that was that was awesome i've been very impressed the last uh, two days just with the the service um, and nothing there hadn't been anything majorly wrong with my motor just little stuff so uh, we'll see gonna go home get some kibble drink some water because i got a massive headache and uh retie a little bit Probably do a little map study, see if I can't find somewhere that I can go and get one to pull on my cricket. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'll slow down a little bit here. By the way, there's a freaking ton of deer here in Alabama. Apparently, they're rutting. I almost ran one off the road yesterday morning going to, uh, where was I going? The elementary school up there. I saw a big, pretty, pretty nice box, like a 120 or so, uh, dog and a doe. It's kind of cool. When the fishing's been like it is, and you start seeing the fish is like it is, and you start seeing bucks uh, trailing does, kind of makes me want to be in a tree stand. I did have an awesome co-angler today, a uh, guy local. He's like, I just want to catch one, because he's worried about. It. He hates this place, even though he's from Alabama. We, he caught his one. I caught two. Um, so, we'll see. Alright, so we are back home. Oh, I guess try to get something to eat. Let's see what we got going in here. That is day two. Going out, boat number one, way up there. Some. Um, I'm definitely glad to have a long day. It's been, uh, we've had a chance of rain all day and the mount that I use, the mount that I use to film that stuff, it actually goes in the back and I have to use the skeleton case on the, uh, on the GoPro. So I'm scared that it'll start pouring rain and I really don't have to deal with it, um, uh, during, you know, during the, uh, event. So I apologize about that, but hopefully I will have some more later in the year to where I can film, um, film all day. All right, guys, so now it is Saturday. Finished up the tournament yesterday. Um, didn't turn out real well. It was like 143rd, caught three fish in two days, which is terrible. It was terrible from the start, which y'all have been following. Um, but it's all good. Not how I want to start the season, but luckily this is a long season this year. We have like seven events, eight if you include the cup. Um, right now we are about to go. Uh, we have our kids fishing derby. So I'm gonna go drop my boat off over at the service trailer. I hit a, another stump. I hit a stump the first day. And my, uh, I'll show you my, my skeg. Luckily it missed my prop, but you can see too, kind of how it's all. I, I was running out of a backwater area and uh, a guy waved me on to go around him. So I didn't have to come off pad. Well. I guess I've veered my course just just a, enough, and um, ended up catching a stump. So 
we're gonna, but it's all good. We're gonna go hang out at the expo, hang out with some kids, get some kids fishing. It's a little cold. Hopefully they catch a few. We'll get that done and then pass the boat back together. And hopefully, um, sorry, I got a scratch on my boat. That's something I was checking out. And then hopefully, uh, get back home for a day or two. Head to Travis. Got our fishing derby going on out here. It's a little cold, but it's been a little cold all week. These Gunnersville fishermen are tough. We got an awesome derby going on. We've had a, a three and a half pounder weighed in already, which is better than a lot of the, us pros caught. Here for too long, oh, we'll get one. Here for too long, we'll be handing out a nice big trophy to some of the kids. Yourself, Got some yeah, more yeah, jumping yeah. in. This afternoon. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, about 3 45, um, 4 o'clock. Right. Those all yesterday? Yeah, this is, is, yeah, this is all we have. That's not that. Well, that's it. First tournament of the year. Didn't go how we planned. Had a great time. Good fishing derby. Good expo. Ready to get to Lake Travis. And a lot of times this right here, is my favorite part of the trip after a hard derby hitting that little button right there got a six and a half hour drive be home for a few days and then off to travis see y'all there